posterior urethral valves. It is the most common cause of urinary obstruction in male infants and can lead to renal failure. Many cases are discovered in utero on prenatal ultrasound. The most characteristic finding on ultrasound is a dilated posterior urethra, which when combined with a distended bladder is said to look like a keyhole. The actual posterior urethral valves, however, are not visualized due to their small size. Male patients that present in the neonatal period may have a dribbling or absent urinary stream, a lower abdominal mass due to a full bladder, and palpable kidneys due to hydronephrosis. In more severe cases, newborns may present with Potter syndrome and respiratory distress due to lung hypoplasia. In less severe cases, older children may present with complaints of voiding difficulty, recurrent UTIs, hematuria, and ionar anoresis or frequency. When this condition is suspected postnatally, a presumptive diagnosis can be made with the detection of a dilated and elongated posterior urethra on a voiding sister urethrogram. A catheter must not be present while this examination is performed because it can falsely make the urethra appear dilated. Once electrolyte abnormalities are corrected and the patient is stabilized, temporary drainage of the urinary bladder is usually performed. It is important to be aware that electrolyte abnormalities may occur following the diuresis due to water and solute losses secondary to tubular dysfunction. When the infant is stable, cystoscopy can confirm the diagnosis via direct visualization and allow for curative therapy via primary ablation. Unfortunately, chronic kidney disease, vesicle urethral reflux, and bladder dysfunction are common complications that may persist following appropriate management.